go. All right, next we're, we're gonna do is winterize the uh, fire pump. The, uh, the hose is all set, we leave it right here. The first thing we need to do is, uh, and there's not much gas here, just enough to run out, it's okay to run some, but I'm gonna put a little in here. All right, and then what you do is you just run it long enough to make sure the gas is in the system. Turn it on. We'll see if we have to pour water in it or not. You have to turn this switch from off to on. This is the choke over here. There's also a uh, fuel is on, choke is, choke is this way. And here we go. Hopefully it'll start. to turn the gas off so it's not in the engine and we're going to turn this off over here then what we do hopefully we, we take this off and then you'll see we have to drain water out of the this we just Lay up here. It's kind of grody, but just lays right there. And then what you have to do is, if Jan comes over to this side, she'll see we take this plug off. Okay, and then we take this plug off to make sure there's no water in the cylinder during the winter. Again, it's all about freezing water. Doesn't do good things. See the water coming out? You want that water out of there, it'll, it'll freeze in there and crack. Now what I usually do is do this about three days before we go and let it air dry in the, uh, in the sun a bit to, uh, to get more moisture out of it. So I'm gonna just put this on and like this and put the cover back on in about three days i will we'll put the plugs kind of loosely in that's it